Right, we're carrying on walking. It's quite windy, but it's warm. I'm not cold at all. And I wore the light jacket today. The spring and autumn jacket I've got on. And like I said, we're coming up to... Up there, there's be Will's Neck. The highest point, trig point on the hill there. Um, we'll be going near Triscombe. And in the past, I've walked up Triscombe Bridal Way. A bit like Stout Hill. Takes you up to the Triscombe Stone. See, there's a way down through there if you wanted to go down to somewhere. Um, I've done all that. Um, I went up the two Marrow Hills last time I came here. And this has been the third, my third visit now to on this route, the Greenway it's called. And there'll be various paths leading off. So if you want to suddenly go up, this is quite a good place to join the hills actually. It's not very high up. You can get up there quickly. I can even see an old deer track up there. But of course you, what you've got to remember now, the ticks are out and they're hungry. This could be one of the worst times of year now, leading up to June and July um, for tick. And uh, they sometimes they put signs out to warn people. Even though I'm keeping off, I'm keeping on the track, main tracks, there's always a risk of uh, them in the air and they drop off trees. Anyway, like I was saying, I'm so pleased to be out on this walk today on my Quantock Hills. I can smell my Quantock Hills. The only sad thing about today, if I had a vehicle, I could actually go and walk to Crocom and then back to say Triscombe Stone where I could park or Crocom. The only thing is now I can't, I haven't got the time to, to do that. And, and the hills are there and I won't actually really be going on the hills on this visit. Today was a visit to do the church. And if I haven't got time for Crocombe Church, I'll do it another day. I'll do it another day. Because I can do a walk from Bitnoller to Crocombe, go down Crocombe Hill and do the church. So there's no great worry. I mean, I didn't do um, West Bagra Church very well. I mean, you know, I'd done it before, you see. Now we are leaving this almost private road, really. And we're... All right, somebody coming. Well, let me get out of the way. He's coming up here. Oh, he's going that way. That's all right. So here we are, Quantock, the Greenway. Okay, there's a big lot of those posts. Now if you want to leave the road now, go through a gate. Go up there and you'll be on top of uh, Will's Neck will be up there. Okay, it is a way. But that's not my plan today. And you can go that way. I've been up that way. I've done that way as well. Have you? Yeah. But I'm not doing any of that. I'm doing the road today. Because I want to. I was attacked quite a lot by ticks last year. Fortunately, I don't think they were limes. There was one, actually. I had a bullseye. Um, so I don't know if that actually affected me when I was tired a lot in the autumn. I'm not quite sure. I can smell the countryside. Oh, I just love this place. But at the same time, I'm a bit of a townie, you know. I'll tell you why, because... I like to be able to just nip up the little Tesco's and get some bread and some milk, a dinner, and just to have a little chat with people. You know, like you do when you're in a supermarket, you chat to people. And, um, <clears throat> although in many ways I feel I'd be all right out here in the middle of nowhere, 
Um, I, if I had transport, definitely, yeah, I could do it, I think. But I was stuck once before in near Totnes, so I was stuck on Windmill Hill. And um, I was very fit as a young girl, a young person. I had a baby then. And basically, what all that meant was um, I was quite isolated, very isolated. And it was a very... People died while I lived in that cottage for six months. There were one traffic accident after another on a very, very bad road. Three people died while I lived there. Killed on the road. And I used to have to... I, what I did, I pushed Zara in the pram once up it. I would only did it the once. I thought, I'd never do that again. I used to put her in a sling and have to carry her um, in, on the sling. And it was very steep. Windmill Hill is really steep. Anyway, being nice there, I'm not quite sure. I mean, I, I'm busy doing my tree work. Um, I wouldn't want to be totally alone, I don't think. I mean, Zara would come out in the middle of nowhere if she could have goats and chickens and things like that, Zara would. You know? But as it is, we're all right at the moment. Anyway, we're getting to a stage now. I don't know if this is the pub, but we can't be far. I think that's Marrow Hill. I think we're going to be back at Crokham before we know it, you know. I think that's Greater Marrow Hill, which I've of course climbed, and Lesser Marrow Hill. And the pub, I think, is just down there. I don't think we're far now. I didn't think we were really, but it's just a gentle walk really. It's a bit like going to Sam Bay and stopping off at the Priory and looking round and then making your way across. But last time I was here I climbed up those big hills. I climbed up that one and then I climbed up the next one. <laughs> Look how big it is, my goodness, it looks bosom, doesn't it? Let me turn off and take a picture. Right, this is just Sheila. This is a junction point. Now, I've, that takes you up to the Triscombe Stone if you go up there, right? I can hear the river. Now, what I did when I came the first time, I picked up a path right on the top there and came down and cut in up further up and then joined this path later. That was, I didn't know what I was doing. It was like something I just, uh, just used instinct, basically. But, hey, look, there's a, there we are, look. Plainsfield, Crocum, see? And the Greenway. And look at that beautiful view. That's uh, the Blue Ball Inn. It's bigger than that, it's just a bit of it. And I'm going to go up past the farm. I'm going to be following the little road. I'm not doing the Marrows. The Marrows are through their big hills. I'm not doing those today. I have done them. I've done them several times actually. But not always on this angle. I don't, know if that's, I don't know if that's the actual pub. Or... It doesn't look... That's the toilets. It looks a bit derelict, doesn't it? What do you think? Look a bit derelict, doesn't it? I think somebody's in. Is this the pub? I don't know. It just looks a bit empty. Maybe it lo lost um, at least the toilets. Look, bet they're locked. Do you reckon? Oh, oh, freezers. <laughs> I don't think it, it was open the last time I came because there were all barrels everywhere. This doesn't look very open, does it? Temporarily closed. Yeah, temporarily closed. Oh, fancy that. Let me just turn off and take some pictures. It's a shape, isn't it?
Well, Blue Boar would never take it at my Guinness, did I? You never know, I could come by here another time and uh, it'll be open again. Somebody there in the van. They could be Walker, so. Oh, fancy that. Linda and Jane Cook, licensed proprietor, temporarily closed. Yeah, that's a shame, isn't it? It's a lovely little place. I've been, I was going to have a Guinness. Could be someone, do you think there's somebody living in there? Could be. Roof half off. I think I think there's probably is somebody in there. Yeah, that looks lived in, doesn't it? I remember walking so far down and then I decided I didn't want to do the main road, so I went up the two marrows. Yeah, like she said, you go through, you could, what you do, you bear off. I think it's just round that way. Right then, so we've left the Blue Ball thatched pub, which is closed at the moment. This is the farm you go through. I followed the coom up through last time and climbed up the lesser marrow up towards Triscum Stone. Got the higher marrow there. There is a path you can take which follows the bottom of the marrows, so you don't actually have to go up. But because of the weather, I've decided to follow the road, which I want to do. Look at that old barn there, look. It's a real old barn, isn't it? Yeah, I want, I want to follow this track. Bye. Blue Boar, Blue, Blue Ball Inn. I hope you do open again. The Quiet Village. Well, it's a hamlet, isn't it? I've, got, I've never walked where I am now, from now on, I've never walked here, right? This is this little road that I'm on now. This will take me to Crocom, apparently. I don't know what I'm going to meet en route. I don't know if it be friendly or unfriendly people. Or friendly or unfriendly dogs, I've got no idea.